This is Dr. Mike from the road, and the medical news travels. Oh, the view is okay. I don't know if I can, if I've got enough light here, but if I don't, don't worry. You'll still hear the news. Major increase in suicide rates among young women, teenagers, over the last year, not among men. What do you look for to prevent a 31% increase in in suicides, successes, 31%, about the same, 32% increase in emergency room visits for suicide increase. For from young teenage girls, change in appearance or hygiene, increase alcohol or drug use, drop suddenly in grades, social withdrawal, talking about um, suicide, um, Risky or restless behaviors, self-harming, talk about hopelessness or have nothing to live for, researching suicide methods or acquiring, um, if you will, methods to do it. Um, the point is, uh, these are all important and potential uh, ways you can prevent a suicide. Let me go back to the rest of the stories, but that's a major story, one of the biggest stories of the week. Let's go through. Many heart disease patients keep smoking. 30% of heart attack victims are smokers, despite only 15% of adults smoking in the U.S. Um, and of those smokers, two-thirds of them don't quit, despite knowing how bad it is. How bad is that? Behavior change is tough, but Tobacco is an incredible risk factor for heart attack, stroke, disability, memory loss, cancer, all these things that make life miserable, smoking and e-cigarettes. And now we're hearing that marijuana use may also cause an increase, a substantial increase in the data on um, heart attacks. Um, and we do know Heart attacks, diabetes, all of the diseases other than COVID increase the death rates between 5 and 20 percent, uh, diabetes 30 percent during uh, COVID-19. Is this because they were misdiagnosed and they were really COVID deaths? We don't know. Last year was the greatest number of deaths in the U.S. in U.S. history. And it is rising disproportionately in rural America. Is that because there's less access here? Well, maybe due to other things. Um, there's a group de-prescribing that is looking to decrease the number of prescriptions people over 65 are on because they think they're on too many pills and they can get off about 25% they find are unindicated. No healthy obesity. That is, if you're metabolically healthy, you have normal LDL cholesterol, no obvious fatty liver disease, um, no increased triglycerides, no diabetes, you still have a twofold risk of dying of heart attack, stroke, cancer, and dementia in the 10 year period. Huge study to look at this. And there are new links between poor sleep in diabetics and an increase in death rate. Fourfold, tremendous. So if you're having poor sleep, talk to a physician and get help for it. And probably the last of the medical news stories of the week, well, I want to go to, is brown rice better than white rice? Yes, because it's got the sperm, the endosperm, and the bran. That sperm, the central part, has all the nutrients in it. What does white rice have? It's just got the endosperm, very little nutrients, a lot of carbohydrate. So it's better in that sense. But both brown rice and white rice are grown in areas that used to have cotton raised in them. Used a lot of arsenic as a pesticide for the boll weevil. That is dangerous. So people living on white rice from the United States and from North America may get too much arsenic. Any is too much, right? 
but rice grown from other countries seems safe. Last big story, if you're having problems with drinking, you can get help because women are now drinking as much as men and are prone to getting sick sooner. So women are using it as a coping mechanism more than ever, and they're drinking more than ever, a big problem in our world. So those are the top many news stories of the week. Key point, if you need help for stopping smoking or alcohol or to get walking or to go on a healthy diet, get a buddy, get a coach, because all of these things, that is your lifestyle choices, make a huge difference to how long and how well you live. Thanks very much for listening. We wait for KK to come back. I think in two weeks, but in the meantime, this is Dr. Mike with a rapid fire medical news of the week, thanking Daryl East for great engineering and you for downloading us.